This is my response to question three and a long rant by Inventor Gorilla. Um, watched the whole video. Yes, I did. And um, I guess I was expecting for the third question a, a question of substance rather than drama. Um, we'll start with with the, the question. Um, is it different when theists flag theists rather than theists flagging atheists or atheists flagging atheists? No. It, it's all the same. And I really do dislike the flagging system in, in place. And I think that uh, there's a lot of false flagging that could be prevented on YouTube's part, but uh, steps towards that would probably um, get them closer to having a lawsuit because of other forms of abusing the system. So they're citing on the uh, YouTube can't be sued by anyone side, rather than actually helping the community. Um, Yeah, I don't really think that it is different. Uh, it doesn't matter the beliefs of the per people who are getting flagged. Uh, it's wrong. So, let's see, the rest of it. Um, I guess the first thing I want to talk about is how Inventor Gorilla feels like he's not getting any support for the fact that he is, or, or he has been false flagged. Um, I guess that depends on, on what you mean by support. Um, I don't see people being vocal on their channels about saying, hey, Inventor Gorilla got flagged and it was wrong. Um, But, you, you know, Inventor Gorilla never made a three-second video saying, Hey, I've been flagged. You know, here's the media fire link to the video so you can mirror it if you want. You know, wash the sand out of your vagina and, and do something for yourself first so that people can help you help yourself. Um... I have put up 30 second videos from a lot of people who, who have been flagged. I've hosted their videos on my off YouTube website, my own website because I own my own domain. And, you know, I haven't been asked to do any of that. Nobody asked me to mirror a video. Um, but I did show Inventor Gorilla some support. Now, to my recollection, I remember that the first person to run and tell Inventor Gorilla about Mark Cater uh, pushing around the, the idea that we should all get together and flag him, the first person to tell him that was me. I called him on the phone, um, and I do remember that the day that Inventor Gorilla was flagged, that later that night, I called him on the phone and talked to him about it. Now, some people might not consider that, you know, support, calling someone and, and offering them different ideas about how to deal with it, you know, <clears throat> talking them through things. But I, I tend to think of that as being supportive. Um, also, I'd like to show you all something. Uh, now, we know that Inventor Gorilla's video that I'm responding to happened to today. This is where the atheist community pretty much collects all their censorship information for the weeks. This is uh, Boogie Napalm Censorship Casualties, where every week he pretty much reads off everyone who was flagged so that they will get some 
additional TLC from the community. Now if you look down here, five days ago I posted Inventor Gorilla's video where he was pissed about getting flagged. The really long one. And uh, here's a, a comment where I say Inventor Gorilla was just flagged for a video where he exposed the Poker Hulk for sending PMs to people trying to rally them to false flag Inventor Gorilla with screenshots of the PMs. No, 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 no. Okay, so, blah, blah, blah. Point being this, um, aside from, say, finding a 30 second video from Inventor Gorilla saying that he got flagged, which doesn't exist, that would be easy for everyone to mirror, um, I actually did support Inventor Gorilla in other ways. Um, by calling him, by uh, telling him something previously. You know, that, that might have helped him to avoid all that. And by reporting him to the censorship casualties of the week so that he could get a little bit of extra support. Now, sorry I, I can't do any more. Um, people watching this video are going to see that uh, Inventor got, Gorilla got flagged and it was a false flag. And I'm saying that it's a false flag, but... Um, I don't know, how many videos does Inventor Gorilla want, you know, made on my channel about how horrible this is? You know, should I give up my channel to everyone who gets false flagged? Because it happens quite often. Um, yeah. Let's see. I guess uh, the only other things to address in his long rant would be... Um, in the description of the Shayra's Coloring Book of the Bible video, there is the link, or there's the link to the video where the footage of uh, Aldous Valor calling me is actually there. You can click on that link and then go to the point in time, like 36 minutes in. You know, where I actually give the time that the phone call started. Um, yeah, he called me in the middle of recording something. And what Inventor Gorilla is assuming is that after I was through recording, that I didn't get permission to post the video before I posted it. Um, maybe he wants, you know, every video where I have phone conversations with people to have like a certain set of legal mumbo jumbo like you do realize that this is a phone call on on camera blah 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 blah, blah. maybe um but <clears throat> let's see what else do I have do, do, do. I have a text message from Aldous Valor. Um, let's see. Do to do, do. Here it is. This is Aldous Valor on my uh, video. Uh, Shayra's Coloring Book of the Bible. You started off so strong, I was expecting more of a punch throughout B-. minus. And it's okay to doc drop his, his phone number. He does it in his own videos, and he likes people to call him. People call him if you can pause the video right on his number. Leave him a message. Tell him how much you love him. Uh, yeah. Really, 
the, there really isn't anything to uh, Inventor Gorilla's claims that uh, I'm doing something wrong. Um, find me someone who uh, doesn't like the fact that I had a phone conversation with them in a phone conversation that was recorded that I posted that they later didn't like. Uh, come up with this person. Um, I have made many videos t while talking to people, but um, if I thought that it was wrong or illegal, I would probably pull the video for fear of getting flagged. Um, so yeah. Everything else that was said, uh, you know, I don't get as, as pissed off at false allegations as Inventor Gorilla. And I think uh, the question came up, like, do, do people believe that Inventor Gorilla false flagged Ponage All-Stars? And to be honest, there still is no proof, because there never can be proof of who fla who positively flag something without someone coming out and saying it. That said, um, I think a big reason why people might not be supporting Inventor Gorilla uh, for this false flagging might be because of all the other videos that Ponage All-Stars made, which were all captions of, of, of comments made afterwards by Inventor Gorilla about the same incident some of which looked pretty damning. Um, and I know I've asked Inventor Gorilla personally, on the phone, um, whether or not any of those comments or PMs were doctored. Because um, they are pretty damning, and they don't look very good. Um, even so, they're only circumstantial, and you can never prove who flagged who. So, that might be why Inventor Gorilla hasn't been getting a lot of uh, support, but I actually think he needs to make a little short 30 second video for people to mirror saying that he got flagged. You know, he needs to pick himself up, dust himself off, grab a douche and flush out the sand from his vagina, and help us help him. And that's about it.